Hello everyone and welcome back. It's a beautiful day here in Japan. As you can see, I'm not even wearing a jacket. It is that warm today. And yeah, I think it might be starting to get really warm from here on out. Like at least no jacket temperature. Maybe a light sweater or cardigan will be okay, but yeah, which is quite unusual for this time of year. Usually, you're still wearing a heavy coat, but you, you, know, you never know. That might change. But, yeah. Today is the day before Valentine's Day. And we don't really have plans, like Valentine's Day plans, as most people would. Usually, there's two ways you can celebrate Valentine's Day here in Japan. You have one, the Japanese way or the Western way. And the Japanese way is only the women will give presents or chocolates to the men that they love and or like. <laughs> and they can also give them to like their bosses and stuff, but it's not really like, I love you chocolate, it's obligatory chocolate. So like, oh, I kind of have to give you this because it's Valentine's Day kind of thing. So that's what that is. Or you can do it the Western way, where women and men give presents to each other. Me and Naoki celebrate Valentine's usually the Japanese way. So I usually will give it to them. But of course, Naoki does get a chance to reciprocate that in one month. Yes, in one month on White Day, the men in Japan can reciprocate they have one month to think about, oh, do I really like them? Do I love them? Yes, no, mm, uh, let me think about it, kind of thing, yeah. The men get time to think. <laughs> Usually it's either equal to or more than what you gave them. So if you gave them some really cheap shiny little chocolates, they can give you cheap shiny little chocolates back, or they can give you better. It just depends on how much they like you, yeah. But Valentine's Day is a pretty big deal here in Japan. It might not seem like it because it is a pretty big Western holiday, but it's a big deal just because the girls get all excited about giving boys chocolate and yeah. But enough talking. <laughs> Time to let Mary continue running off some steam and then I need to go in and make some chocolates for Nayaki. For today's chocolate, I'm actually going to make fudge because I love fudge and it's probably a little different from what everybody thinks. Everybody has a different image of fudge because everybody grows up in different places and all the fudge is different around the world. So yeah. The fudge I'll be making is actually my mom's recipe and I think it was her mom's before that. Yeah. So. It's a very tricky recipe, meaning there aren't precise measurements for everything. And it's basically, you just have to feel it as you go and see if it's ready, okay. Let's add the next ingredient. That's ready, okay, the next one. Oh, we only need about a spoonful of this. <laughs> There's no like, oh, let's add one cup of this. Let's add one teaspoon of this. It's like a dash of this. Let's add one spoonful of this kind of thing. So for my recipe, you'll need two cups of sugar. That's about the only thing that's exact. You'll need peanut butter, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, butter, marshmallow fluff, and of course, some chocolate. Now, before you even start cooking the fudge in your pot that you will be using, be sure you have the pan or plate that you're gonna put your fudge into when it's finished. And I'm actually gonna use a tray here. I got this from the 100 yen shop. And yeah, it's plastic. It's okay to use plastic as long as it's durable for heat. And yeah, this is about the size my mom uses. Um, she actually, I think, uses a, a glass round dish that 
whatever like if you it doesn't really matter what you use as long as you have something to put it in and you don't want it to be super deep because it's supposed to be fudge I mean unless you want to make super thick cubes of fudge then of course use a smaller pan and not so wide as this but you need to prep this before you cook because as soon as the fudge is done you have to put it in here right away you can't just let it sit and then maybe put some um, butter on this or whatever non-stick agent you want to put on here because it will set in the pan and you want to put it in this so you have to do this first so let's get some butter on here it doesn't take a lot and you just kind of rub it around and work it around like that's a lot of butter in one spice so you just work it, it takes a while gotta work it work it work it work it when I was a small kid and watching my grandmother cook and if she was making a cake or something I would be the one to butter the pan yeah she was like go put some butter in the pan and I would be the one standing there rubbing butter all over the fucking pan so yeah I'm quite used to the whole let's spread butter everywhere and of course we also put flour in the baking pans when I was young as well I don't quite do that as much unless I'm really worried about it sticking but you don't need flour for fudge don't put flour on your baking sheet it is all spread out and ready to have fudge be poured into it you just set this aside and now we start the cooking so I have put my two cups of sugar here with my vanilla already and I'm going to put that here I'm not starting the oven yet I have a half a cup of butter which is about one stick of butter we usually use margarine in my family so that's what I'm using today is actually margarine but I still call it butter now in Japan on Amazon I can only get these big things of sweetened condensed milk so I'm actually only going to add half of this and in America you can actually get the smaller cans it's technically just one small can now once I start actually cooking this I'm really not going to be able to stop so just make sure you have a slotted amount of time where you can stand at the stove and not leave because you continuously stir it and you can't stop until you're basically completely done so that's what I'm going to do now um yeah I'm not sure if I'm going to do much talking because I actually have to concentrate <laughs> complete fail like I cooked it too long and you could probably see yeah that I had cooked it too long but <sighs> to be fair this is only my second attempt to try and cook this in Japan and both my mom and grandmother used electric stoves so it's quite different trying to cook it on a gas stove like you can't really regulate the temperature well you can that's the thing <laughs> I guess I don't know so I don't know if that plays a part in it or anything but 
yeah, I totally messed that up. Like, it's a big bowl of crumbs. Not happy. But, I don't know. I have enough stuff to do more batches if I need to. But I just don't know if I want to attempt again already. Because I have to, I only have that one pan to cook this in. Which means I would have to clean that pan. Make sure it's completely dry as well before adding anything else to it. And then cooking it all over again. And it's already Mary's bedtime. So... Yeah, I was hoping this would have came out okay, but it didn't. Now, I will say my pile of crumbs here do taste quite delicious. Yeah, and I mean, you can just see how bad it looks if it will focus. It's very uh, gritty right now because obviously I didn't cook it right and yeah, but at least it's still melt in your mouth, which is what the normal fudge is. It's very, well, just melt in your mouth and just so good. I'm just so disappointed. I don't even know if I want to attempt again. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow if I don't make the fudge. Like, it's not like I have bought a backup chocolate from the store or something. I should have, I guess, but I didn't. So it's the next day and it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you're having a good one. Even if you're single, you can still have a fun Valentine's Day. Just because you're single doesn't mean you can't have fun. But we just got back from the store and I don't think Naoki saw me buy chocolates. Yeah, I actually went ahead and bought some chocolates because my fudge was a complete disaster. And... I don't think I'll retry at this current time just because I don't want to deal with it right now. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see how he likes it later. He's not a very big sweets fan in general so I tried to get chocolates that weren't necessarily like BAM here's some sweet stuff in your face kind of thing. So I hope he likes it but you never know. But he'll probably say he likes it anyways because that's just the person he is. <laughs> but right now I've got to unpack my groceries and I'll show you what I got for Valentine's dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight I actually got steak. Yay! I don't get steak very often mainly because, not because of the expense wise, this was only 8 bucks for this large steak here and this will feed both of us. But... I mainly just don't get steak very often because I rather grill steak on like an open flame on a grill or even a gas grill is okay. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have one of those. And yeah, so that means I have to pan fry it or cook it in the oven. And I mean, it still tastes delicious, don't get me wrong, but it's just, you know, it's just never the same. But yeah. So I have steak for dinner and I'll most likely have rolls from Costco and maybe some kind of vegetable on the side. Yeah, nothing too super fancy, but it's still different than what we normally do. So yeah. And Valentine's dinner is ready. I have a rolls from Costco. I have our steak and I have like little heart shaped carrots here you can't really see as well as a salad so yum 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 in my tummy and Mary gets her own little Valentine's thing over here she loves gyoza so that's what I made her for dinner well guys it's that time of night and I am beat so I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day or had a great Valentine's Day wherever you are in the world and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye